Lower Electro Heads, we have been invited to come to a top secret facility in Los Angeles to meet somebody very special. Now they've said the only way that I can get in contact with them is via walkie talkie. Come in, Bald Eagle. The bird has landed in the nest. What's up, party people? Tyler, I want the 101 on you. I want you to tell us everything about who you are, what you do, and what the hell is going on in this place. My name is Tyler. I am a resident electro head, and here I build electric vehicles. So I've got a passion for speed and electrical engineering, and together, well, you're seeing the result of that. What we have here is an electric dirt bike that I designed and built. You cannot buy it, okay? This is a custom one-off piece, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and late nights in this thing. I designed the battery pack and drive system to bolt right in. You just twist the throttle, and off you go. So one of my favorite creations here is My Dong, which is a very interesting name. You know, I've let a lot of my friends ride this bike, so technically everyone in town has ridden My Dong. So I put a thousand watt hub motor in the front of this bike. A lot of power, really small $99 folding bike. You can imagine the results were interesting to say the least. So here I have my first dirt bike that I ever built and I used an enduro chassis, added a mid drive motor, which is very unique for these bikes. And I've put it through its paces. I've taken it out to the desert. I've wrecked it, my friends have wrecked it. So now it's on the wall. It's, a, it's an art piece at this point in time. I've got a high boy scooter here, which is just used for small errands, getting around town when I just wanna scoot. Here, we've got my latest creation the power chair currently in development. Today's office chair is truly tomorrow's mobility. By the way, this chair is capable of 20 miles an hour. Maybe more if I push it. For a chair, that's a little, a little wild. So here's my workbench where I do a lot of lab work, design, testing. I've got a vintage oscilloscope here. They just don't make them like they used to. This is a scale replica of the power chair so that I can test out my software, my algorithms on my desk before I ever have to put my body on the line. We also build batteries here at the lab. We're not liable for anything that happens with a battery pack that you purchase from us. And I've got, I've got this gas bike over here, you know. We don't really need to worry about that. So let's address the elephant in the room here. Am I really Electrohead's new US presenter? You betcha. So what other burning questions do you have for me? Am I certified batch crazy? Yes. Am I gonna be bringing you some sweet ass content? Hell yeah. So what can you really expect from me? You can expect unbiased armchair analysis and deep dives into the world of EVs as we know them. I will never lie to you. Only the truth comes from my mouth. No bull when it comes to EVs and the specs that manufacturers give for their products. And I'm gonna be building all kinds of crazy electric contraptions. In fact, why don't you guys tell me in the comments, what would you like to see me build? What kind of wacky ideas do you guys wanna to bring to life? Because I can certainly help with that. And lastly, to certify that this isn't all bullshit, why don't I take you on a little ride so you can get a little glimpse into my world? Now this electric beast is a lot of fun on the road, but let's take it off-road. Let's hit the dirt where I'll take you through the specs and the build itself. Woo! So let me tell you a little bit about the bike. We've got a 72 volt system here. We've got 300 amps of unadulterated current. We've got peak powers of 20 kilowatts and beyond. 300 newton meters of torque at the rear wheel. We've got a range of about 30 to 40 miles, depending on how hard I push it. And yes, it does wheelies, as you previously saw. So I designed this battery specific to this frame and motor, so it makes a complete drivetrain package. The battery cells themselves are 18650s, high output, that is. I've also got a rear sprocket here that's geared for 55 miles an hour, which is just enough. Any more than that, and I'll likely kill myself. 
So it recharges in about three hours, which makes for some great riding out in the desert. I can just recharge it while I, you know, have a couple drinks and some lunch. I just recently painted it, gave it a quick paint job. It's uh, the color Batman. You might be wondering what type of electric motor I put on this bike, and it's a QS Motors 138 V3, which has standard dirt bike dropouts so that it drops into any frame. No bracketry required. Now the battery box I had to fabricate myself out of an eighth inch aluminum. I welded it together and fabricated it to fit to the motor and to the frame, coupling it all as a drivetrain package. So since there's no more gasoline in this bad boy, I hollowed out the gas tank and all of the electronics are located right inside of this shell. So future plans for this bike include upgrading the suspension and brakes and also dialing it in for more performance. Right now I'm running at about 35% while I feel it out and test the bike. Well that was a little tidbit about me. But now, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see for myself and Electroheads moving forward. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more juicy content coming soon. God bless America. Ta-ta. <laughs>